Welcome to another episode of Learning English with Jee Lalwani. Today we will be covering the idiom starting with the letter H. I hope you have not got bored of the idioms because, <laughs> because I've done so many episodes of it. But uh, I know that a lot of you like using it so I will keep continuing. But if you want me to stop making videos on idioms for a while, do let me know. Okay. First one, hail and hearty in very good health. Example, grandpa will be 80 years old tomorrow, but he is hale and hearty. We use this very often. So yes, you have to learn this. Second, half the battle, a large part of the work. This also. Example, to see your faults and decide to change is half the battle of self-improvement. Third, hang by a thread, to depend on a very small thing or be in doubt. Example, Tom was so sick that his life was hanging by a thread. That means sort of like living on the edge. But these are two different idioms, okay? Fourth, have a bone to pick with someone. Have a reason to quarrel with someone. Example, I have a bone to pick up with you about the rude way you spoke to me last night. I have not used this before. Fifth, have an eye for. To be able to judge correctly, have good taste. Example, she has an eye for fashion. Very common idiom. Please learn this. Sixth, have a stake in. Have a share in. Example, Paul has a stake in this company. Seventh, have dibs on to demand a share of something. Example, don't throw your magazine away. I put my dibs on it. It is used in a more of a casual context, like amidst friends. Eighth, have the best of both worlds. Be able to enjoy the advantage of two different situations without having to choose between them. Example, my brother teaches medicine at the university but he also has a lot of private patients. So he has the security of the university job and the large income of private practice. He truly has the best of both worlds. Ninth, head above water, out of difficulty or clear of trouble. Example, how are your marks at school? Are you keeping your head above water? That means are you, are you passing? Are you staying out of trouble? Uh, this reminds me that there's actually a song by the singer called Avril Lavigne, who is one of my childhood favorites. And uh, she has a song called Head Above Water, which is very beautiful. I had to say this. Tenth, heart of gold. A kind, generous or for forgiving nature. Example, John has a heart of gold. We use this very, very often and it is a great compliment to give somebody. So please learn this as well. Now the other, other idioms that we have, heart of stone. In Hindi we say, right, pathar dil. So <laughs> this is that. But in Hindi, I don't know what do you call like heart of gold. Sone ka dil, but we don't use it, right? I don't know. Next. Head up, hit the jackpot, heart skip a beat. Yeah, when your heart skips a beat. This is also used very often. So do try to check up the meaning and let me know if you found it. If you have any doubts with the construction of the sentences or how to use them, please write them uh, anytime in the, in, in the comment section and I will try my best to tell you if it is correct or not. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. I did not tell you about my consultancy classes. So here's a mini advertisement of it. Uh, for my one-on-one -on -one consultancy uh, classes, you can always send me an email and I will clear all your doubts and we can book the consultancy classes as per your timings. I am quite flexible uh, to it because it's, it is just a 30 minute class so do let me know and um, yes that's it have a nice day